Welcome to our video tutorial. For today's video, we're gonna solve problem in Chapter 1, Basic Concepts and Definition. So this is the sample problem. A multifluid manometer measures the pressure in a pressurized water tank. Determine the gauge pressure of the tank's air if H1 is equal to 0 0.5, H2 is equal to 0 0.3 meters, and H3 is 0 0.4 meters. Calculate the pressure at the air water contact in the tank. Consider the water or other mercury densities of 100 kg per cubic meter, 850 kg per cubic meter, and 13,600 cubic meter correspondingly. To have an idea what tanks look like, I'll post the image. So this is the figure of the tank. The value that are already given in our problems are H1 is equal to 0 0.5 meters, H2 is equal to 0 0.3 meters, H3 is equal to 0 0.4 meters, the density of water is equal to 1,000 kg per cubic meter. The density of oil is equal to 850 kg per cubic meter. The density of the mercury is equal to 13,600 kg cubic meter. To solve the problem, we're going to use the equation. Pressure 1 plus the density of water multiply acceleration due to gravity times H1 plus the density of oil multiplied by the gra acceleration due to gravity times H2 minus the density of mercury multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity times H3 is equal to the atmosphere. Next, we're going to equate this equation to zero. So, we're going to have the equation P1 minus P atm plus the density of water times the acceleration due to gravity, gravity multiplied by H1 plus the density of R multiplied by the gravity times the H2 minus the density of mercury multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity times H3 is equal to zero. Since um, P1 minus P atmosphere is equal to P gauge, our equation gonna we're gonna be look like this. So P gauge plus the density of water multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity multiplied by H1 plus the density of oil multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity minus the density of mercury multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity is equal to zero. Then we're gonna plug in our values in this formula. So we're gonna be like this. Then, use the calculator to simplify our equation. And we're going to have our final answer. The pressure gauge is equal to 45.96 kilopascal. Thank you for watching.